Hi, Timothy Unkert here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Atom for C programming. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have GCC installed. Okay, so to install that, I would type sudo apt install GCC. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. But if you didn't have it installed, it would prompt you to uh, take up a certain amount of space. You're going to say yes and install it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is download and install Atom. So I'm going to do that. Okay, once downloaded, you want to show it in your folder. And I'm going to right click and click install with Linux. I'm going to click install. Okay, it's installed. I'm going to close and then launch it. Okay, Adam is now launched. So it comes up with this welcome guide. I'm going to uncheck show welcome guide when opening Atom, and I'm going to close this and close that. Uh, you can choose to send your usage data or to not send it. I'm going to click yes because I want them to be able to improve it. I'm going to do control comma to get the settings. One thing I like is with my themes, I'm clicking on themes here, is to have a lighter theme. So I'm going to do one light for my syntax, and then I'm going to do one light for my UI as well. Okay. You can choose whatever you like. The one thing I'm going to use to set up Atom for C programming is installing an integrated terminal. One I like is IV terminal. There are several of them. You can experiment and figure out which ones you like. I'm going to click install. Okay, now it's installed. Another thing I can do while I'm here is go to the editor. I'm going to make it more visible for you, so I'm going to change the font size to 22. Uh, I want to continue to scroll down here. And what I'm looking for is the tab length. The default is 2, but for C, I like 4, so I'm going to change that to 4. Okay. I'm going to close this now out, and let's expand this all the way across. Let's add a folder. Let's add uh, in tunkert, let's add my C programs folder, which you can see is quite full with a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to click on here to create a new file. I can do the keyboard shortcut A, or I can do new file, or I can right click and do new file. I'm just going to do A. Okay, we'll call this test underscore atom dot C. Okay, and it's going to create a C file. Uh, to toggle the side explorer here, I can do control and forward slash like that. Okay, I'm going to write a C program and show you how we're going to compile and run it. So I'm going to include my standard header and then I'm going to create my main function. And within my main function, what I'm going to do is let's print F. Um, this is a C program created with Atom. And let's do an escape character and an N and end it with a semicolon. And I'll return zero and save it. And now I'll do Control Shift T to bring up the terminal. And I'm going to just type GCC, the name of the program, uh, the output, and then what I want to name it. So test underscore Adam, and I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to compile. Now I can run it. Test Adam. And you'll see this is a C program created with Adam. So it's pretty much it for setting up Adam to run C programs. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really does help the channel grow. I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.